Hello, my name is Paul Priestley. Welcome to artistinschool.com, the home of art history for young people and for interested amateurs. Today, I'm going to be telling you 10 really fascinating facts about the French artist Henri Rousseau. He was a naive painter. He had no training at all and was totally self-taught. But he's a fascinating character and his paintings are charming. So let's get started and have a look. Fact number one, Henri Rousseau was born in Laval in northern France in 1844. This place here is beautiful. He went to Laval High School and he was quite good at drawing, but not much good at anything else. When he left school, he worked for a solicitor, but one day with a group of friends, he stole a small amount of money and some stamps. To avoid prison, he applied to join the army in 1863, but unfortunately before he could get into the army, he did have to serve one month in prison. Fact number two, Henri Rousseau exaggerates a great deal. For example, he claims to have served with the French army in Mexico. And this is where he said he got his inspiration for his jungle paintings. But there is no evidence from his army records that he ever left France. He also said that the animals that he draws in his pictures were all drawn when he was in Mexico. But it seems that he spent a lot of time at the zoo in Paris and copying animals from books. Fact number three. Rousseau leaves the army on compassionate grounds in 1868. His father has died, so he wants to look after his widowed mother. They move to Paris, and it's here that he meets Clemence Bautard in 1869, and they get married. And in 1871, he gets a job as a tax collector on the gates of Paris, collecting money from people bringing goods into Paris. Fact number four. He claims that he didn't start painting until 1886 when he was 42 years old. But evidence shows that he was copying paintings in the Louvre in Paris at least two years earlier. He's totally self-taught. He's never been to art college or had any art lessons. This is why his work looks so naive and yet so charming. Fact number five. In 1885, Rousseau exhibits his first pictures at the Salon de Refuse. This is for paintings which have been rejected from the main salon in Paris, an exhibition which takes place every year. You'll notice the paintings have quite a few technical problems with them. Things are too big or not in the right space. But they have a naive charm about them and that's what makes them really interesting to look at. Fact number six. This painting, called Surprise, which is in the National Gallery in London, you'll notice the tiger has been copied from a book. We can see with all of Rousseau's drawings of, and paintings of animals that they're always drawn and painted side on because that is so much easier to do than to paint them at different angles. You'll also notice, if you look very carefully at the tiger's teeth, that all the teeth are the same size. Maybe he had difficulty reading the image from the picture because he has no canine teeth, this tiger. You'll also notice the tiger is standing on the grass, but the grass isn't bending. You'll see here, it must be very strong grass. You'll also notice as well, he'd been to the botanical gardens in Paris, he'd never been to a jungle, but he knew that plants grew big in the jungle. So he paints all the grass and the plants in this painting big. He exaggerates them. Some of these are house plants which have simply been exaggerated. It looks really interesting, doesn't it? Fact number seven. In this painting called Scout Attacked by the Tiger, you'll notice Rousseau's use the same ideas again. You'll notice how large the grass is. You'll notice the patterns it creates, nice simple shapes. you notice how small amount of grass fills a big area of the picture. 
you'll also notice that the horse on which the scout is sitting is much smaller than the grass. But the interesting thing about the painting is the tiger, because we've seen the tiger before. This is the tiger that appeared in the painting Surprise. If you look here carefully, can you see what he's done? He's taken the mirror image of that drawing. He probably had the original drawing of the surprise tiger and turned it over and he's used it again. Clever. Fact number eight. In this painting called Old Junior's Cart, this is a painting of his butcher. He owed this man some money because he couldn't pay for his sausages and his meat. So they agreed that, or the butcher agreed, that he would paint a picture of his family instead. So Rousseau set about painting the picture, but he had a few problems. You see, he painted the figures at the top here, and there's the butcher's wife, and you can see the daughter and their little dog, and such like, all sitting there in the cart. But you'll notice, down at the bottom here, the pavement. I think what he did was to paint the pavement in first, and then when he got to painting the wheel and the dog suddenly realised that the pavement was in the wrong place so he's painting another pavement there. And that has resulted in the dog being underneath the cart. And the other dog looks a little bit too small. And have you noticed that the piebald horse has got very thin feminine legs? It looks a bit strange. But the most interesting thing is the man driving the cart. Because when the butcher saw the painting, he turned to Rousseau and said, what have you done? Rousseau thought he was referring to the mistakes he'd made, but he wasn't. The butcher wanted to know why he'd painted, Rousseau had painted himself driving the cart. Why have you put yourself in the picture, he said. Rousseau said, well, it's because I'm an important artist. Fact number nine. In 1908, Picasso, who was then 27 and an up-and-coming artist, invited Rousseau to his studio in the Bateau Lavoie in Paris. He was going to present him with a medal for being a great artist. Rousseau arrived and it was full of Picasso's friends. They were all laughing and shouting and some were drunk. They were all having a good time. Picasso said, shh, to the crowd. I am going to present Rousseau with a medal, he declared. And he brought out the medal. Rousseau stood there in his nice new suit. The medal Picasso had made himself. It was this big and made of cardboard. And on it he had written the world's greatest artist and hung it around Rousseau's neck. Everybody burst out laughing. But Rousseau didn't realise they were ridiculing him. He walked over to Picasso and put his arm around Picasso's neck and said to the crowd, we are the two greatest artists of our time. You paint in the old fashioned Egyptian style. I paint in the modern style. Fact number 10, in 1910, Rousseau died. He was a pauper. And in fact, he was penniless. So he was buried in a pauper's grave, which means that it's in the corner of a graveyard in the church, which has no headstones. So he would have been forgotten about. In fact, only seven people had appeared at his funeral. That would have been the end of the story. But in 1912, his body was reinterred into a proper grave in one of the biggest cemeteries in Paris. And it was paid for by his friends, including Picasso. And as you can see here, his gravestone now had a poem engraved on it by Apollinaire, the great poet. That would have been the end of the story, but not quite. Because in 1947, his body was moved again, and this time he was reburied in Laval, in northern France, where he was born. And he was buried in the park in Laval. 
So if you happen to be in Laval, you can go and visit his grave today. Thank you for watching artistinschool.com. I hope you enjoyed the video and learnt lots about Henri Rousseau. If you have, perhaps you could give the video a like. That would be much appreciated. And also, if you could subscribe to my channel, that would be even better. That would be wonderful. Thank you for watching.